What's going on guys? Logan Sneed here with FusionLean.com and I'm with... Allison Bingham with... Um, Wild well, Foods. Well, my, my, my new YouTube channel is Wild Mama. My Instagram is at this crunch of mine. And we're here and with uh, the Daro dude. Daro Stuckert. <laughs> it's the wild baby. <laughs> He's all smiling. <laughs> So uh, I guess we're gonna talk today about some stuff that I have done as a mom to try and help my baby sleep better and to not be gassy and colicky and fussy like he was initially. So I did, well I was doing keto, keto before I got pregnant mostly, not even really paying attention to it, it was just kind of naturally what I did. And then when I got pregnant that changed a lot because I had a lot of cravings for fruit mm. primarily. It's like all I wanted to. So what would you say for like pregnant women like that? I know th my mom, she when she was pregnant with my last brother, I think she was obsessed with popcorn and ice. A lot of times when you are, for example, as a woman, when you are on your menstrual cycle, we crave chocolate. That's a very common thing. It's not so much that you're craving chocolate, it's that your body has learned to associate chocolate with magnesium mm. as a high source of magnesium. Mm -hmm. So I would probably do, there's probably something in, it's, it's either the smell or there's something in whatever food it is yeah. they're craving that their body is deficient in. So I would Google, just do a quick Google search of like nutrients in whatever that random food is. If it's something specific like that. Now some yeah. Like I had random cravings for um, like beef with broccoli. That was a oh, dish really? that I craved, that well, I craved several though. times. Yeah. But so stuff like that, I mean, that's kind of obvious. You know what I mean? Like you've got yeah. all sorts of different things in that whole concoction. It's just finding a quality recipe for that. Yeah. But if it's something really specific, like I only want strawberries or I only want, you know, popcorn, then there's probably something specific. Yeah. So that's what I would do if it's a bad, if it's a bad source of something. Mm -hmm. like popcorn. Which so is... for, for women that are pregnant, like I know it's not just we're like, oh, I'm pregnant now. Let's just start eating perfect. What is your tip for them? Because I know when they're, when, when they become pregnant, I think they, I hope most of them are saying, well, I have a child now in my stomach. I got to, this is my child and I have to really treat them properly what I'm eating and what, how I'm treating my own body. What are your tips for them on like making that transition if, if they're not eating healthy already? So it's actually a lot more difficult. <laughs> to mm. eat healthy when you're pregnant. Yeah, that, was, I, yeah. that was my experience because you get this crazy influx, cra crazy influx of hormones, which like I craved fast food when mm. I was pregnant and I am okay. normally repulsed by it. I mean, I think about Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, anything, and it just grosses me out and yeah. it did not do that when I was pregnant. Honestly, I would find recipes to have at home and I would keep food cooked at home. I also went to the grocery store a lot more frequently mm -hmm. when I was pregnant than I normally do. Mm -hmm. So normally we'll go once, maybe twice a week. I would go probably every other day and just grab small amounts of things. Yeah. That way I had a variety of things in my kitchen so that if I was craving one thing, I kind of had other things that I could maybe sort of maybe yeah. taste like that. Um, I also had a rule of three, depending what it was. If I had a seriously strong craving for three days for the exact same thing, I would just go have it. Oh, nice. I would allow yeah. myself to have it. So um, I did that probably twice with stuff that I would never in a million years normally eat. And I, it, I'm actually glad that I did it because once I went and had that thing, I was so grossed out oh, wow. that it completely went away. I ate like a third of it and then I was like, this is so nasty. Mm. So my next question, husbands, boyfriends, dads, whatever, obviously the, I, I think the moms have it much more difficult than the dads. Do you think that the dads should also play a role in leading by example of what to eat properly? Because I know a lot of the dads, I mean, can say like, oh, I'm just gonna just keep eating the way I am. I'm not gonna sacrifice anything. You know, what, 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 what should their role be in this whole thing? I think it kind of depends if you're some if you're a person who's not necessarily this is on to JJ. <laughs> Sorry guys, continue. If you're not necessarily a person who's affected by what others around you eat that much, some mm. people are more than others, then that's a little bit different. If you are heavily affected by that, then yeah, I think your partner needs to take that into consideration because yeah. pregnancy is a lot of work. Your hormones change, your needs change, like you're tired, you're, you just go through something totally different than yeah. you've never Allison, been what about the, the females that think it's a license to eat whatever they want? What, what kept you from doing that? Because you didn't do that that much. You only gave in a craving sometimes. 
Yeah, Maybe that's was, dad's role to play the... That, but that... Yeah, but no, that was her, though. She wanted ice cream. I, I was going to be like, no, you no, can't have it. No, he, but... he actually never... He was really good about food. He never yeah. said anything. The only thing that he probably gave me a hard time about was fruit. And that's mm. because I craved it so much. I just had, I had like four servings of fruit a day. Okay. I mean, I want bacon, fruit, and like literally milk was all I wanted for mm. the longest time. Wow. So I did have, I had some grass fed milk, which I normally would never do. But at the same time, it's like, okay, but if everything is repulsing you, find the best quality source of whatever that is and allow your body to have it. Cause you still have to get nutrients in your body. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't just not eat. But what about nutrition affecting baby's health? That's, that, that's a question. Remember yeah. how we talked about how I think a lot of women get more weight pregnant because they, they, they feel like they can eat whatever they want. Just because they're pregnant, and I think that's Well, yeah, because you, you you hear the term, you know, eating for two when you're not. You're eating for one and a quarter. But that's where the rule of three comes in for me. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you can go three days well, of not having something, yeah. most of the time the craving will go yeah. away. So if you just – but that's a rule that I had before. Like if yeah. I was craving something really heavily for three days, say it was like – a sugar cookie, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, a, like, which I would make a homemade one, but say like that's what I was craving, for example. It would have to be three hardcore days of me craving that before I would go, okay, fine. Mm. And I would find a recipe and I would make it. You know what wow. I mean? Yeah. Um, so I took that into my pregnancy. Dang. Yeah. Which I just feel like that made it easier knowing that I had like parameters around when I was going to be good and when I was not. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it's it's a balance. I have a lot of knowledge with nutrition. So, there was the, like, I don't want anything to eat. I This is all I really want to eat. But yeah. I also had to pair that with how is that going to affect the baby. And so, you, I mean, you moderate. Um, I mean, the more you read about the terrible foods that the majority of America eats, it's like, I think you take into consideration, like, the life that's coming along. For example, like vegetable oils are atrocious, oh, particularly yeah. in the first trimester yeah. as far as like brain function and brain health. Super bad inflammation. Yeah. Restaurant food is full. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I learned that by reading a book. Uh, Deep Nutrition, actually, I think is what it was called. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's so. good. That's good. <clears throat> so, I will say that I did help her. I, I made a point about the whole pregnancy eating thing. So, yeah, because when you were pregnant when I, and we were, I was thinking about more about like, what are you eating? What do most people eat? And I mean, I have pretty strong opinions that most females, I think, take it as a license to eat whatever they want because they think, because you know, it's the, the, the like, it's only calories mentality, but I'm all about real food and quality. That's the number one thing for nutrition. And so if you're putting poison in your body and you're using that to, to build this little guy, look at this little guy's face, look at him smiling, then like you're, you're, I, I think you're literally hurting the fetus. I think you're hurting the, the development well, of the child by eating shit are. toxic foods. No, you are. And I just, and so I think that's a big thing. And I think that's a big thing that people don't talk about enough because like you said, eating for two or I have cravings or whatever. And it's so socially acceptable to just like basically get fat when you're pregnant. And I call it bullshit. I mean, how much weight did you gain? Uh, I think it, I was somewhere between 20 and 25 pounds because I don't But you didn't, you didn't like see it here. Like your arms barely got bigger. Like everything, it was no. mostly in your stomach. Yeah, it was, I was all belly. And I and you could have easily gained more weight. Like you're naturally lean, yes, but you also didn't give in to, to your cravings that much. Like you ate pretty clean. No, I did. I ate, I mean I had I had I had times where I went, but I think I had. I'm used to wanting one thing and not what. For example, beef with broccoli. Like you have to go to a like pretty poor quality Chinese restaurant to get what normally would taste like really good beef with broccoli. So I wasn't gonna deprive myself of that because it's not necessarily a bad dish. It's just usually prepared with poor quality ingredients. So I just did some researching, which I think is what a, a lot of people won't actually do. So they won't go research out and, on what? Like I would Google like paleo beef with broccoli. And then I would substitute. So rather than actually doing like soy, I did coconut amitos. You mean for making it? Yeah. Mm. Yep. So, I mean, the thing is, is they, they are cravings and they come on very strong and they're usually very overwhelming, but you like, you just, you, you can't necessarily give into that just because that's, that's what's happening. Like you can't just go out and buy it. If that means you have to wait a couple hours, you have to send your partner to the store at two o'clock in the morning then that's what you have to do. You have to send your partner to the store at two o'clock in the morning. You have to say, these are the ingredients that you have to get because you have to make me beef with broccoli so that I don't call that Chinese restaurant that delivers till 2 a.m. Really bad, you know what I'm saying? So I went into it knowing that though. Jamie, your turn. 
Oh. You have to ask her two questions. Okay. I do have a question. Would you consider keto uh, during pregnancy? Yeah. I, I'm, I think I tried to do that as much as I could. I just had some like really heavy, strong yeah. fruit cravings, but I did a little bit of research on it and uh, there's nothing like negative about it that goes with it. I think it's also knowing very much your body though. Yeah. And I was fat adapted before I ever got pregnant. So I actually knew how to listen to my body. I wasn't listening to like cravings and <laughs> yeah. sugar and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, but no, it's it's not it's not a bad thing. I mean, if you're varying your diet and you're eating enough, not too many nutrients, you're. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong. You know what I mean? You just can't be eating like the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. Especially when you're pregnant on keto, because then yeah, you're probably like you're gonna deprive your body of some nutrients that you need. You're also gonna be burning through calories a little bit differently, so you can eat a little bit more high quality carbs and still stay in a state of ketosis differently right. than if you weren't pregnant. So you have to take that into consideration. Oh. You're gonna care for it. Introduce yourself. I'm He's grandma. I'm grandma. Pam. Sidaro. Tell them about your move to, to My Austin. mommy. Her mom, Colin's mom, her mother-in-law. Um, I just moved here from Southwest Florida in July. And, I'm and loving, we are I'm loving so Austin. lucky We're to all have together. Her. We had Thanksgiving together. It was awesome. Who harassed you every couple of weeks to well, move here? Well, yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, literally. More than her own but daughter. I, I had my own timetable. I like, you know, I'm going to do what I want. So. But before we go any further, I, have nice a special, wanted, though. I do have a special announcement. If you have made it through this video this long... You're lucky because I decided we're gonna do a giveaway Ooh. of Wild Foods Ooh. ingredients. So if y'all comment below your number one nutrition tip, we will include you in the giveaway. And we're gonna give away awesome. a few items that y'all see on this back wall. So be sure to comment below. There won't be many people because we are new to this. And we are gonna pick a, wi a winner in a couple days. She giveaway bombed y'all. Sure That's did. did. Y'all want Jamie around? Just let me tell you. <laughs> Where can everybody follow you? She's a giver. Oh, I'm keto like Jamie on Instagram at keto like Jamie, and then my personal YouTube is just Jamie Stuckert. Colin's my brother, if y'all haven't noticed. And I do tons of keto recipes. Normally pretty simple. And links will uh, be below. Links will be and below. And Logan guys. just made some awesome cookies. Logan just Woo. made some killer keto. Check out they Logan are. Parisian Lean. Oh my so gosh, they're so good. And oh Allison, God, right. and Allison has a new YouTube channel called Wild Mama, M A M A. <laughs> and y'all, it doesn't get crunchier than this chick right here. So y'all want to follow her. Very crunchy. You need some crunch in your life. Gluten-free crunch. <laughs> Gluten-free right, crunch right, right. right there. Gluten-free. Wow, coming soon. Gluten-free, <laughs> sugar-free. Your YouTube channel. Oh, said. please. I gotta take care of the baby. That's that's, that's my job. Content. Yeah. Are we? Closing. You want to do yeah. that? All right, guys. Yeah. Subscribe and like. Be sure to subscribe and like below. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We are coming for ya. This is a new thing we're doing, and we are really excited to start pumping out videos for y'all. And uh, we appreciate all the love and support. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays.